Andres Malbury, everybody. Uh, like the show so far. Woo! All right, the person who can cheer the loudest will get a T-shirt thrown to them. Because next on stage, we have a very funny man from Vancouver, Washington. Yeah! Please welcome Trent Riding Rock. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the winter show. First show back from the break. I hope you had a good break. In the words of my four year old nephew, Caden, Christmas isn't just about getting gifts. It's also about getting presents. <laughs> <laughs> my nieces and nephews say a lot of adorable things over the break. My, my niece, Ella, climbed up onto my lap, so, so she was kneeling, uh, facing me like two inches away from my face, and she puts her hands on my cheeks, and she's like, What's your worst nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> and at first I was like, probably like a wandering spider with my dad's voice. <laughs> or Jacob's dad's voice. Either species terrifies me. <laughs> but I actually didn't want to say something uh, really scary because she's five years old. So, um, so I was like, I don't know, maybe falling from like a, a, a really tall height or something, like a cliff. And she's like, Mm. So I was like, what's your worst nightmare? <laughs> She's like, having my lips sewn shut. <laughs> like, can, you, can you imagine if she was on um, Kids Say the Darndest Things? <laughs> what did you say that you did to the doll's mouth? <laughs> Jello pudding. <laughs> you can't put the stitches. You have to put the funnel, and you put the pudding in. The and then she projectile vomits, and her head starts spinning around. That's why she can never go on the show. <laughs> wall. Sometimes, sometimes people write lol in a text, and I'm like, I don't think you're literally lolling at that joke. And then sometimes they write raffle. I'm like, I know you are not rolling. <laughs> rolling on the floor laughing is a completely inappropriately enthusiastic response. <laughs> there are very few circumstances when it is okay to roll on the floor laughing. <laughs> Such as, when you read my text, were you also on fire? <laughs> then it would be acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody else uh, watch the ball drop on New Year's Eve? Yeah, yeah it, um, it's actually, I don't consider it a very exciting way to inaugurate the new year. Um, I don't know what the symbolism is behind it, but, but to me it says, much like this 12,000 pound steel ball, your life this year will be boring and meaningless. <laughs> and will plummet to the earth with the raucous applause of everyone watching. <laughs> I know I'm a little behind the times on this one, but does anyone else think that Senator Lieberman and Senator Palpatine might be the same senator? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it calls for a vote of no confidence in the Senate. Don't <laughs> or, or if he says, Lord, let the hatred flow. <laughs> Now pick up your Jedi weapon and strike me down. <laughs> or if he says, I am the Emperor of Star Wars. <laughs> Any of those things would be interesting. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I actually think that um, I could maybe do good as President of the United States of America. <laughs> um, mostly because I think I would do well in the debates. No matter what the other guy said, I would respond with, True, but you have a giant jujube stuck in your teeth. <laughs> and then even if he didn't have a jujube stuck in his teeth, he would feel self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'd try to argue about like foreign policy, and I'd be like, yeah, but your parents don't love you. <laughs> I mean, they did name you Newt. <laughs> Why did they name you Newt? Why did they name you Newt? <laughs> Good question, Vice President Cosby up top. <laughs> Actually, I think I would be a terrible president of the United States, but you know what I think I would do good at? President of BYUSA. <laughs> Which leads me to my next announcement. Last week, my brother's dog got mauled by a coyote. <laughs> and I am running for your next BYUSA president. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I know some of you might feel hesitant voting for me because I'm a Mormon. <laughs> Get it out there. I'm a Mormon. I'm the Mormon candidate. There's actually another Mormon candidate, but we all know he's not going to win. <laughs> I, uh, I, I try to go to the office and tell them that I would like to run, and they're like, actually, you can't because you haven't had your two semesters of leadership and you haven't attended any BYUSA sponsored activities. I was like, shut up. I know that. <laughs> This school need me to have that full ride scholarship. <laughs> so people, this year, vote Leinenbach Cosby. Thank you. <laughs>